Hi. I'm the wandering newbie. It's time for Record Keeper. Uh, oh no, I'm moving windows on the side. Uh, except today. Storm mode. Actually, looking at the numbers, a relatively quicker story mode it might be. Who knows? There's also this other island over here, which I previously looked at and said, like, could be unlocked? So, who knows? Maybe there's more content, actually. But, uh, this week, it's everyone's favorite. That's right. It's Final Fantasy Thirteen. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can sub in some of the beef crew. Oh no, I opened a window and apparently that was a bad choice. Actually, here's the real way that we find out. There's no boss here. We're all beef crew here. Which I say that now, and this one fight that's going to occur in here is going to be like ridiculously powerful. Tyro goes, it's it's the darndest thing. I just, I've never heard of them. They're almost like the original or something. And I don't look forward to the fight where they force me to use Dr. Mog, who I've not been able to level for like 30 dungeons now.
You ever think about how half the plot of 13 is just a majority of the characters being shitty to each other? It's wild because I can remember like what happens here, but I could not actually explain what happens. Like this is where you end up fighting the Shiva sisters? And I think Snow gets kidnapped because he stays behind to break the ice. about that time. Oh, right, story mode. Let's, uh, let's up that battle speed. <laughs> okay. Fights are extremely fake in this dungeon. It's always that toss up of are these going to be fake fights or are they going to be real ass fights? You never know. How buff is my team? I mean. It depends. Story mode is scripted party setups. I'm on par, I would think.
I think the current level cap where I am in the story is 70. I'm legitimately having a moment where I can't remember where, like, Saz and Hope's mark is. I think Hope's is on his hand? But for the life of me, I can't remember where Saz's, Saz's mark is at all. Hope is his upper arm. Okay, then Snow is the lower arm. Saz is on his chest. Okay. So I forget to mute my laptop. Hope's biggest problem is that he's a child and he's written like a child. And unfortunately, that can either work or not at all. Hope is a 15-year-old who thinks he can go out and get revenge for his mom. And it is written exactly like a 15-year-old trying to get revenge for his mom. And unfortunately, teenagers are dumb. There's like two well-written characters in 13 and it's Vanille and Saz. Saz has his whole plotline of his kid and that's actually written pretty all right. And Vanille has the whole plotline of this is mostly her fault. And she's trying not to reveal that. And while it's shitty that she has the answer and doesn't tell anybody for the majority of the game, her guilt writ written part of her is actually kind of well written and well done once you like go and look back on a lot of the events of the game and then everybody else is kind of a mess one battle no boss one battle no boss all OC team. What is lightning steel? Lightning literally has like zero driving force in the story. It's amazing when you actually sit down and think about it. Like, her thing is. We need to find out our focus and do do the thing, and that's it. Lightning is the worst written character in the game, which is shocking, actually. And then eventually she meets God and walks backwards into hell, and then that becomes her purpose. But for the entire, like, First two thirds of the game, she has literally no plot.
The in here's the other thing that I have a problem with in thirteen. Even like the basis of the plot is really dumb. Of the gods brand people to do things, but it doesn't tell them. They have to figure it out. Is so stupid. <laughs> Why would a god use all of its power to make a thrall and then not fucking tell it what to do? No, it's less that they don't, like, understand humans or anything. Like, they literally say, you get a hazy vision and that's it. It's not even, like, mixed messaging. It's literally just, like, somebody threw a picture at you and that's it. Here's this photograph. Well, what do you want me to do? Do? Here's my unclear instruction. I'm not going to tell you what to do at all. Also, I'm going to punish you if you don't do it. What? <laughs> Why? I don't know. The, here's my problem with it is, okay, that's a plot point. You could make that work, except the game never actually explains why the Falci do that they're like they're machines i'm like okay but why though and the game never explains it it's just the thing that you're supposed to accept is happening even though it doesn't make any sense It's like if you went to a town in an RPG and they're like, well, every week we make a sacrifice to the gods and it has to be a, or like every month we make a sacrifice to the gods and it has to be a human. And you go, okay, why are you sacrificing a human? Why? Is it to appease the gods? Appease? No, we're just sacrificing somebody to the gods for no reason. Yes. But why though? Well, we have to. But you're not doing it for a reason. Yes, but we have to. Yeah, like, again, you can make that storyline work, but, like, the whole point I'm trying to make is that they never give you a reason for it. And never try and explain why the reason isn't there. There's, there's just no reason for it. They're just doing the sacrifice for no fucking reason. And then you have to stop the sacrifice, and then you do, and you're like, and now it's better, and you go, yeah, I guess, but, like, why were they doing it anyway? Please click on snow.
Like, I, this is seriously a realization that I just had on stream that there is never an explanation for why the 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 focus are completely vague and stupid. It's just something built into the way that the gods think, and uh, it has actually made me think less of 13 story on the spot. Well, see, I'm not too familiar with Zestria's storyline, but, like, there's parts of a story that you don't have to explain. You can just be like, all right, you make a pact, and the pa that's done. Like, I remind remind you that in Drakengard, packs are formed with magical beings by, like, reaching into your body and pulling out your soul. And it's like, how did they, how did they do that? Don't think about it. It's fine. How does 13 end? Well, I'm going to say spoilers in like 10 seconds if anybody cares. So, the Space Pope fuses with like the one true god and then you kill them? And that doesn't have repercussions for some reason. Um... And then Cocoon begins to fall apart because I guess you killed the god and that's what was keeping it afloat. Uh, but then Vanille and Fang turn into Crystal because they fulfilled their focus. But they do it in such a way that they create a giant crystal pillar and they hold up Cocoon and keep it from falling. And that's how it ends. Oh, and then also everybody else doesn't turn into Crystal. They fulfilled their focus too. But they don't turn into crystal for some reason? Uh, uh, apparently the reason might be because the original six focus team, or five... Uh, that focus was destroyed, but Vanille and Fang's original focus was to kill a god or some shit. Yeah, and then it gets retconned too, and Lightning actually disappears off the face of the earth because she gets eaten by time. Because 13.2 is somehow a worse written story. Right! They turn into the sea before the final fight, but then Time God undo undoes it. That's why they don't turn into the crystal. Yeah. Fucking dumb. God, 13 stupid. Anyway, let's keep going, because I could hoot and holler about 13 forever, but let's get th through 13 and on to the good shit. Me and my giant gun. If I rank my Final Fantasy games, it would be my top five. Uh, number one is either tied between 5 or 14. 14 has a lot of downsides. 5 is an extremely solid game, but 14 also has, like, some really good parts. 
some outrageously good parts. So it's either a tie between 14 and 5. Um, I think outside of 5, 10 has the best gameplay. And there's problems in 10's story, but 10 actually has a pretty decent story as well. Uh, after that, I am still a really big fan of 4. Though I acknowledge that 4 also has a lot of problems too. It's 14 in Record Keeper, yes. But problems. Dean uh, signed a really bad deal with Square about living games, currently active games. So wait, what, what is that? It's uh, 5, 14, 10, 4. Hmm. What would come next? I think most of the PlayStation era is... Uh... Not great. Tactics, maybe? I had a lot of fun with tactics. Purely numbered games, though? That's hard. Maybe six. If I'm going purely on the number games, probably six after that. I think the back half of six isn't great, but uh, six is still really, really fun. Yeah, if we're doing offshoots, the five slot is probably a tie between Tactics Advance and Tactics. If it's all Final Fantasy titles, the number five is Mystic Quest. Free. Now, bottom games, worst ones. Uh, 13's down there, No, in no particular ranking. Uh, 13 is definitely hot garbage. And in that association, 13-2 is down there as well. Actually, shit. Top ones, the story's not great, but 10-2 actually has a really solid combat system. Well, see, I wouldn't roll the entire trilogy as one spot because Lightning Returns is actually a really fun game. Like, they eventually got it right. The story still sucks, but it's actually fun to play. Yeah, no, Lightning Returns is actually really, really interesting. It has a very interesting combat system. You only have one character, but it's fun. Would I stream Lightning Returns? No. I, I never even finished that game. The paradigm system is really fun, is a really interesting concept from 1313 2, and there is there's a universe where that system is done right, but their execution in 1313 2 was not good. Alright, bottom ones, I still have four to go. Um, as much as I like a lot of the characters from it, two is probably there. Two is such a hot mess. Two is not good. Uh, 15 is actually probably down there for me. Again, it's one of those things of like, eh, the characters are probably fun, but like, that game is a really hot, hot mess. It, it's... 15 is, in my opinion, one of the worst Final Fantasies, purely because it's the only one I haven't played. I have looked at it multiple times. I own a copy that's still just wrapped. 
because I will look at it and go, nah, literally every time I, I, I think about it. Just because I think about the combat for like five seconds and go, no, I don't want to deal with that. But see, like I, like I said, like there are parts of two that I do really like, like the characters are fun, but so much else surrounding two is really bad. The dungeons are horrible. Uh, and yeah, the leveling system's a saga game, but it's even saga not implemented well. Chocobo is so big. Why is the baby Chocobo so big? Uh, anyway. So that's three. Which, speaking of which, three might be down there. Hmm. Three is a really hot mess as well. One, I wouldn't rank. One is still actually really playable. There's a lot of things broken in one, but I think one is still a pretty good game. And then they remade it, and one, the remake of one is completely fine. Like, they remade two, and it's still kind of hot garbage. They remade three, and it's still kind of hot garbage. Like, there's no way to fix those games. But they remade one and fixed a lot of the problems. Four, five, and six actually ranked pretty high. Here's the weird thing. Seven, eight, and nine, I think none of those are good games, but there's enough outweighing the bad in those games that I wouldn't rank them in the worst. Seven's a pretty okay one to play, though there's a lot of other problems in it. Eight is obviously a really bad time to play, but I think some of the characters are fun, and again, best OST in the entire series. Um, no, I'm not garbaging eight. I'm just I'm explaining why I don't think eight, any of the PlayStation ones, is so, de deserve to be in the garbage tier. Uh, nine has the most in interesting characters and setting in the series, probably, but. Man, is Nines playing the game really, really fucking got bad. That's my problem with Nine. Nine needed to be a little bit faster. I mean, yeah, if you want to get in the complete offshoot, Sturge of Cerberus is probably in the garbage tier. I feel like going into, like, all the offshoots is too easy and free. Because then we can talk about, like, all the bravest. <laughs> So you have Heisaga, you have Protect. Those are free. Uh, Snow might actually be able to taunt here, and that's pretty fun. Ooh, Shogu, though. Eh. Haste is more more useful. No, what if I subbed out Tyro? What if I just ran two healer? Is all the Bravest still going? No. <laughs> all the Bravest was, like, dead on arrival. What about 12? Uh, 12 fine. I actually really like 12. It's not one of my favorites, but I think it's a solid game. Where would I place 11? 11 is a product of its time. That's the big thing. I personally don't think it's a good game. And that's mainly because I don't think any old MMOs are good. 
Um, but I have heard enough good things about Eleven that I am hesitant to just say it's completely irredeemable. Hey, Cosmic Afro. We're having a discussion about old, various Final Fantasy games because 13 is completely uninteresting. Crystal Chronicles I never played, and I, I've heard is actually fun if you can get four people. That's the main problem. Thank you, boys. Here we go. Uh, here's the actual final point, all right? On like garbage tier stuff. Uh, FF14 Eureka on release. And there, there's your, there's your final garbage tier, because I, I consider that an entirely different game. Eureka got better. I did Eureka. But uh, who boy on release? It was a trash fire. Yeah, I've heard good things about Lost Odyssey. Hmm, good point. If I'm gonna excise, if I'm gonna separate things into chunks, then you do have the sealed temple from five. Hmm. That is a that is a valid counterpoint. My problem is, like, the, the four that I listed, I think, are the absolute garbage tier. And then, like, I really don't know if I can list anything else as absolute garbage tier. Well, here's the thing. Like, for as bad as 2.0 Final Fantasy XIV is, I played through that. I still have your memories of it. Oh no. Captain Keen. 2.0 is is bad. 2.0 is Realm Reborn, yes. 2.0 is not good. But the gameplay of it, like the pacing, sure, that's terrible, but like the gameplay is still good. Yeah, if we're actually talking like the actual garbage tier stuff, it would probably just be FF14 1.0. Yeah, Why was 1.0 so bad? Um, let me put it this way, to an extent. A random flower pot on the side of the road had more polygons on it than a character model. 
but yeah, there, uh, there's a very good, I think like an hour or two hours long waypoint documentary that actually explains why it was so bad. Yeah, inputs were server side. You should look up like final boss fights from 1.0 and look, just watch how bad that game looked. That the models were fine. The models looked really good, obviously, because they put way too much effort into them. But the The way combat played out looked worse than War World of Warcraft. Like I will say, one of the best things that FF14 did was they actually took a lot of notes from World of Warcraft. Like, don't get me wrong. When it first came out, I will 100% say FF14 was World of Warcraft, but different flavored. It has since evolved beyond that, but... fuck is this thing it's like well it's actually the the first boss but then the first boss but a different flavor Oh, yeah, 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 the front parts are supposed to be blood salts. No, it's not a shark or a crab. It's supposed to be, that's right, you guess it, a scorpion. Because 13 was trying very hard to be Final Fantasy VII.
Alright, that should be not oh, we can actually just do this again. Because at this point, she should be getting multi hits with uh her shit. Well Transient Dream is here, and it's still a very good soul break. Lightning popular? Not really. I don't think she's popular in Japan. I could be wrong though. But I really don't think Lightning is all that popular. She was popular in Japan. Weird. Well, I mean, her getting used as a fashion model and her being popular are actually two different things. Because the fans don't decide that, the, uh, the company. Wait, how are you not dead? Okay, there we go. It, like, there could be a localization problem with 13 13 2 for sure, but in my understanding, I don't think Japan regards these two games very highly either. I could be wrong on that, but that's what I feel like I've heard.
Yeah, that makes sense. Japan likes four, five, seven, and ten. Yeah. I partially agree with that. Like, again, just coming back to the statement I made earlier about, like, a lot of the problems in 13 storytelling stem from people not fucking talking to each other. A whole lot of the weird interactions between Hope and Snow are purely just because it takes Hope 30 hours to be like, I blame you for my mom's death to Snow, even though they've been with each other for so long. Actually, what soul breaks do says have? Says has buff. Says mayhap stays in the party. Neil has Hastaya. I take out I take out hope. For Weege.
FF8 story is okay. It has one really dumb plot point, and that's about it. Two. 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 It has a couple weird plot points. But, like, hey, Disc 1 is really good. I really like Disc 1. Did the town know that they were living next to a Falsy? No. That's the whole point. Did I ever end up playing the Breath of Fire games? Uh, on my YouTube channel. And I think... Actually, that was around when I started saving VODs. Uh, there is an entire playthrough of 3. And I have, years ago, played through 2 and 1. I have yet to play a Breath of Fire game that I enjoyed. All the way through. Four is on the docket at some point. Uh, three is a game that really has not aged well at all. Uh, one and two, the, the, kind of in the same vein. They really have not aged. I believe that 3 was good for its time. It has super not aged well. At all. Like, zero. 3 kind of wastes your time a lot. And there's like... Fives of hours between plot points that actually matter. It, when I say that as an age, well, it's more of like the thought, like... If I played the game back then with the brain that I have now, I don't know if I would have enjoyed it. Like, I just think there are some major plot and pacing problems in that game. Breath of Fire 3 is a game where whenever the word boat comes up, you are about to lose five hours of your life. Here's the real secret, um, like, there's a very short list of PlayStation era JRPGs that have actually aged well and really when you go back and think and stare at them, you find out that they were actually never really designed very well. I love Suikoden, uh, Loon has helped me to even see the problems in Suikoden. Suikoden I think maybe aged the best because I still think that the story and general mechanics of it are good. Um, it has so many problems. No, both one and two. Two is obviously aged way better, but uh, two kind of has some of the same problems that one had. 
Did I ever play Suicune 3? Not on stream. I have played every Suicune. 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 Take your pick. I think the only one I haven't... There's two that I haven't played to completion. I never actually beat five all the way. And the tactics game. But I watched a friend play the tactics game almost all the, all the way. So I'm aware of the majority of the tactics game. I tried to play it, but I just did not care for the mechanics. Yeah, I really liked five. Five's main problem was its load times were abysmal. And I think that's where I fell off. Also, it had a real awkward 3D. Like, I, I've watched some of those 3D animations recently, and uh, <laughs> it, uh, they have problems. So we, can, uh, so, you, yeah. so we can then never really made the transition to 3D, which is a shame because its 2D was so fucking good. I might have to play 3 at some point. That might be a retrospective game. See if it holds up at all. I know what the next retro next retrospective game is and that one's going to be a hoot. Here, here's the the real secret. I think for all of its problems, uh, three has a really good story. Three's entire story of hey, actually being immortal sucks ass. Also, yeah, it's a really funny thing when you think about it, is that the biggest contribution of uh, 13 is giving 14 a million combat models. Well, this just got interesting. We're buff, but also... We might actually be able to finish this fight before it's a problem. Well, and then the game proves me wrong. Did Luna announce what his next game is going to be? No, I'm right. I don't think Luna announces, I think it just appears the next week. As if from the ether.
All right, we made it. And then no story happened. Er, no battles. Only story. The opposite. What if the other way around? Or if they'll just randomly insert his USB animation in here. Looks very good nowadays. They've gotten that down. I mean, there's other problems with everything. They did not one for one the USB. Ever think about that Saz is actually like a ridiculously good pilot?
Oops, we blew the rest of the budget. Who was that? Really, what was that? deal? Sans got caught up in everything because due to Vanille and Fang showing up, his son got turned into Olacy. But like, for Cocoon instead of a Pulselacy. So then he had that whole thing with his son and then it goes places. I can't summarize the whole thing, but yeah, it goes places. He's a sad dad. That's that's the summary. Best dad in video games, pop in here. Free. Yeah, pop in here. Which one, though? The, the character in the game called Nier. Shadow Lord Nier doesn't count. That's the Shadow Lord. That's a different character. It's Revenant Nier. Papa Nier. So I've gotten our government issued original content fight for this update yet. I'm looking forward to that. Which, if y'all are catching one of these story modes for the first time in a while, just stick around. Because they have been doing some, uh, some wild shit with the, uh, with the, with the environment. Hold up a moment here. Oh, never mind. There's only nine dungeons this update. There's two sides. And one of those was... One from the last. I gotta sit down after the session and just clear those out. They take like five seconds. Alright, all battles. OC crew, everyone get in here. You need to keep getting experience. That actually matters now.
endure. I stole like three, three story, three stories. Okay. I have always really liked the idea of the cloud of darkness and the wave of light, the flood of light, which is why I'm really happy that it showed up in 14, like in, in full force, because it's a really good concept of no, actually there needs to be a balance. Light can't destroy dark or else that's bad. good and dark are not inherently good or evil light and dark There's no difference between light and dark, you idiot, you dumb motherfucker. So Winged Wolf, my entire concept of the like the knowledge scape of each of the OCs is Tyro has played every game. He knows everything. Uh Alara is just getting into it. She needs to be told literally everything, but she's she loves it. She's just along for the for the ride. Uh Biggs and Wedge have literally only played the Cydia because they always recognize the main characters and that's about it. Hey, you ever... What do you think about this dragon mountain? Is Square making a new Final Fantasy game? I don't think so. Not for a bit. 14 is fueling them for the most part, and... I think they're trying to recoup from 15 still. Oops, we made a movie again. Also, yeah, they're doing FF7 Remake for the next 20 years. I don't know, finding out that FF7 Remake actually has a turn-based system in it made me really happy and was like, all right, this game might not suck. There's, 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 a, there's hope.
Oh, the, the only really important thing is that FF7 Remake is going to have the SWAT minigame in it, so it's a good game. How early in three is this? Actually, pretty early, if I remember right. It's probably the top option here. I'm gonna wait for any sort of confirmation from chat, but I'm going to guess this is top option. Taking, taking part in a battle is generally what leads to the next one. Oh man, that means bonus battle is gonna be Bahamut. Hell yeah. It's gonna suck. <laughs> Jose, here with the resale. Two months, and I think alerts are having a problem. Hello, Big Cup. One moment. Let's try rebooting that real fast. Let's give that another. How odd. I'll throw into that later. Well, thank you.
How does Arcade Keeper do seasonal events? They just sort of happen. They sometimes do like little mini things, but there's no like seasonal equipment. Well, I mean, there is, but they're generally like everybody gets it. Like, it's not like you have to pull on the gotcha for seasonal. Usually what it'll do is it'll theme one of the uh, the fests that they have. They do four fests a year around the season. So like the next fest will probably be around New Year's in December. So they'll probably make that one like Christmas themed. They generally make the one that happens in the summer, summer themed. Rough. I can't believe Alara just killed him. Tyro is dead. Oh, he's ready for mini dungeon. I'm actually going to summon Biggs here. Alara mm, can sit out. Ah, well, good night, this guy. Have a good night yourself. cast in small one. If I remember right, this boss is the giant rat. Well, this boss is the normal size rat, but you're tiny. So, rat big. stupid. He needs those charges. Eh, he probably won't actually go through all of his charges, so that's fine. Sure, just normal attack, though. Oh, he got one back. All's well in the world.
this mini Tyro a separate pearl or bead set. Man. So I'll out myself for a second here. I'm the guy who doesn't get the appeal of pearl or beads. Oh wait, right or left. Oh, let's go for the further one. I'm going to go back up. I'm smart. Brain genius over here. Brain genius missing his click. Now, the nice thing is that we've never seen it, but if you miss a chest, the game will legitimately just tell you, hey, there's a chest that you missed in here. Average size mouse. Talking mouse. This mouse is senti sentient. This mouse has opinions about the current political climate. This is fine. Please ignore the giant damage numbers that have occurred. Yo. Why are the numbers so high? Maybe I'm just under level. Maybe that's a secret. In that cast time, I should hit it. Yeah, got there. Wait, this does heal, right? Oh, thank Christ. Had a moment of, oh no, is this one of the pure DPS ones? Does not heal at all.
what we got there. These fights are just scary enough. Perfectly balanced. Fang, which mechanically in the game doesn't actually do anything except for it's a key. The Tower of Jeff. I have no idea what boss this is. Oh, Medusa. Okay. Yeah, having a... Clarity dispel of some sort will be useful. We might just go with vanilla team here. This seems like a solid team. Medusa's mainly magic. And Asuna will be very wanting. This mystic spell of frog.
Touch frog. Tetch frog. Fury. Fury, I feel like, is a mistranslation. To an extent, like somehow. Gotta just be a weird translation for Harpy? No, that doesn't make any sense. How'd you get to Fury from Harpy? Flurry, maybe? I don't know. Fury. Oh, actually, that might be like Fury, like a Valkyrie Fury. Like one of the Furies. Okay, I can see that now. One of the Greek Furies. Sorry, not Valkyries. Become as frog. Man, now I'm just thinking about FF7 remake. Frog Toad with a tiny sword. Or Frog Cloud is what I meant to say there, and I said Toad. <laughs> guy on the bottom though. I think literally every character they make has a frog sprite just as like a contingency. They're like one of these days we're gonna make a frog spell. Or frog sass effect. We're gonna do it. And then I stare them in the face and they say, Do it, cowards. You won't do it. You won't make Hal Carnassus actually turn us into frogs.
Hehehe. <laughs> he spelled H I H. He. 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 Okay, that's interesting. Also, thank you for the bet, dude, yourself. I was both waiting to see how it would do that. And also amazed that bits work. Yeah, where's advance? I wonder if people still use, still use advance, like if they have it. It is a unique buff, and the biggest buff in the game. They never made a bigger version of advance. There's no reason, it's perfect. Well, you tried. Nah, I personally think that Twitch has just stopped handing out bits through ads. I've heard that from a lot of people, actually. Weird, Twitch doesn't want to hand out free money anymore. This boss can paralyze. It's in its scripting. It on paper can paralyze people. Time to get dedicated to purifying. Oh. I don't know why I thought dedication to purification to purify was going to be a offensive move. But here I sit, a fool. Damn, I thought that would kill. That would have been a really cool kill move. Well, rest in peace, Ark.
Well, if I have been keeping track of stuff. We're still down our government issue OC fight. Government mandated. Original content from the government. It's my content and I want it now. Oh, where's the OC characters? Huh. Huh. That's weird. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Weird that. I'm gonna take a side trip into Puzzle Town. We're gonna end with the OC fight this time around. Now that I know it's coming. Alright, use the scratch. Gravija. Heals itself. Magic lore. Shelga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay, cool. Okay, so Shulk is probably really useful. Magic lore is needed. Rafa has some self healing. Might we want to double heal this? Actually, I kind of don't hate this team. Is resist everything that's not wind? Well, which look at that. Hi, Rafa, you're actually garbage. Uh, they especially mentioned magic lore, so I think Ignis still has a use there, being a tank. Oh, he has no holy resist. Okay, yeah, perfect. Alright. Dagron. We meet again.
Squint can work fine for this, honestly. Really, we just need uh, our boy up top to in element. Yeah, the sooner we get Tyro USB online, the better. Perfect. Oh, beefy. Yeah, now Tyro's job is going to be getting meter over to people. The first one being uh Arc. Arc. If Arc doesn't die right here. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we might not even need to give her over to Ark now. Yep, Ark's fine. I don't know what the commands for Faith and Spadna are. And I feel like that might actually matter. That That's a thing that I should have really looked into. It's like one of those could be a taunt, magic taunt command. As yeah, I can hit him, there's no harm. They still had the visual effects for them. Oh wait, this is the other one. Huh. Still no harm in testing these commands. Aegis form seems, you know, like that will probably work out. Oh boy. I have a plan. This is fine. See? Aegis Form was an attack defense buff. Good to know. We got there though. Nice. Thorn, yes. Well, uh, you should stick around. Because we're about to see some, some good, good original boss stuff.
I'm not gonna look at the description for this boss at all. Because that's always the big spoilers. I will see what they're giving me though here. Uh, Wedge gets in trust? Biggs is Biggs. Is that re raise? It's a rise. Okay. Where is him and the Soul Saber? And Warden's Apocrypha, which is the Astra in haste. You have Magicka Coat, which is Raise Mine, Reduce the Layer Actions, and Medica. What else does this do? Is it just a pure. It's a last stand. Okay, good to know. Uh, you get that. And you get that, and yeah, and trust, huh? Okay. All right. Well. Yeah, a rise is concerning, but we'll see what happens. background music is bothering me. This just sounds like noise problem, like sound problems. Oh no, I know that the sound is fine, but like... It just sounded like audio popping. Oh shit. Is this one a biggie? Let's uh, let's speed one this. Turns might be long, but I feel like this is gonna be. Ro oh, 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 oh. We can't purify it. Wait, you can't do that. You can't. Hey, hey, hey. Thing over is probably my best bet here. We need healing. Ooh, that worked out well. Ah, oh, this has a cast time. Oh boy. 
It's fine. It's fine. Rub some dirt in it. We need to start going fast. I don't think a rise can counter, you know, bad. Oh, right, that's a self buff. Oh, shit, I forgot completely. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Found the use for a rise. We gotta keep Tyro singing. Yeah, the only problem there is I think Wedge just miss getting uh haste. And I'm worried with what's going to happen when we, uh, when these timers count down. got this. Wedge. Wedge has got this. Alar is dead. Whack.
<laughs> yeah, Wedge gets to sit out the next couple of maps. Yeah, it was all according to plan. We did Frank 69. Perfect. Calculated. Excuse me. be up against evil dark man bad guy Show upcoming events. Man. Uh, the original fights continue to be, like, really good and solid. Sadly, I don't think we'll ever get 14 content in these. It just... You know. It's just a bad time. Solid story update. Shame about all the, the 13 in it, but what are you going to do? Next time, though, 12. 12, which is okay. And, uh, let's call it the other one. 9. <laughs> which has a good story, so, yeah, the good parts of 9. Next time.